Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mosley and today I have a tested video. So recently I saw this video about washing beauty blender or makeup sponge. Um, I think the title is something called um, beauty blender washing machine or something like that. So it has an idea um, that help you to wash multiple beauty blenders or your makeup sponge at a time. Um, and it says you only need a Ziploc bag and also some kind of soap. So in a video that girl used um, what is called castel, castel sh soap, castel soap or something like that. I don't have it, but in a video she also said it's basically something like baby shampoo and I had that and I got the Up and Up brand um, in Target. So I'm gonna just use that in this video um, and hopefully this work. Um, what is the original video? I'm gonna post it down below in the description so you can go and check out her video. And now I'm just gonna try to see if that thing really worked and test it myself. So I have a Ziploc bag, I'm just gonna open it up. I don't have a super big one, so I'm only putting three into it. Cause So like it, in, in the video, it's supposed to be a really, really big Ziploc bag compared to your own makeup sponge. Um, so I'm just gonna only fill in three. One's mini and two big. And it says you need a good amount of soap. So I'm just gonna add. I think that's good amount. That's good amount. I think that's a lot actually. But we're gonna do with that. We're gonna use this much of the soap. And it says in to fill in with warm water. I'm gonna go and fill in it uh, with warm water right now. Wait for me. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have made it into this way. I think it's pretty much all the air out. I'm super happy about it and the water is already like dirty. So I can see it's slightly working. I'm really happy about it. And this corner is a little bit dripping. I don't know why it's dripping. And I hope it's just the water on the outside of the pack. Um, the bag is dripping. Um, yeah, but we're gonna work with this now. I'm just gonna squeeze. Ooh, did you all see that? Okay, now the water looks really, really dirty and really gross. I'm gonna clean this out, and um, according to the video, it says you need to run uh, through it a couple times. So I'm gonna run through it another time to see if there's any um, difference. So I poured out dirty water you have seen in just a, a sec ago, and I just uh, simply run through this beauty sponge under the running tap water and just to squeeze out like the excess kind of soap in it and surprisingly this mini makeup sponge this the small one compared to the big one the small one is already clean it's clean and I'm super happy about it so it seems like this uh, method is really working but the bigger one seems like a kind of difficult it's still fairly dirty I don't know if you can pick up from um, the camera it's still fairly dirty and I'm gonna run through it again so I get more water I'm just putting them in and we're gonna run through it again just to see if it makes any bigger difference or it's gonna stay the same so we have to hand wash it afterwards so I have to say that's actually really really fast compared to what I imagined it would be I thought it's gonna be like at least three to five minutes to, to wash them and no that was literally once one minute I only run through it for one minute so I have poured it in the soap and I'm just gonna squeeze out the air bubbles and I have squeezed out the most I can and this is what it looks like now I'm gonna wash it again just to see if it makes any difference okay update the water is turning it's still not totally clean. The water is turning. So it's somehow doing some kind of work. Can you see? It's not clear. Okay, after I run through it a couple of times, I think this is the most I can get out of it. Um, and it's still very dirty on the sponge. I'm, you may not be able to pick it up. 
but um, it's still fairly dirty for the spots. So I think this is what it says any of you have to like kind of spot cleaning it. And I'm going to use the method with the soap, the bar soap, instead of um, the actual dish soap. So now I'm going to go, um, I'm going to take this sponge out and get a regular bar soap and to show you all what I usually do. Okay, I'm back. So I have a bowl. It has um, clean, warm water in it. So it's just water. It's warm. And I have the uh, makeup sponges from earlier. And this is like still dark in here. Um, unfortunately, my the soap that I used to use um, just ran out today. I have to get a new bar of soap. And this is the Irish Spring um, Icy Blast. Um, and I'm just gonna open it up and hopefully it works the same as um, my other soap. I was using the Dove the Dove one which has like a good sand about it. I think it's a pink it's a pink soap from Dove and um, it works really well for me. I'm taking out this. Okay, it smells really good. This is the first time I used this kind of soap, so I'm curious how much it's gonna work. So now if you squeeze it, it still has some kind of bubbles coming out, but I'm still just gonna use this and basically rub it on a soap on where it's dirty and dark and there we go so I have rinsed it in the water same one still kind of dirty just do it again so it's very easy to wash out uh, compared to the olive oil and dish soap method because this one is actually um, so much more easier to rinse out the oil one kind of got messy and if you can't control the amount of oil very well or the amount of dish soap very well your bowl or like whatever you're washing it with is gonna be really dirty and really hard to clean out so I'm kind of like tired of that way and also I don't know how it's gonna affect my sponge but for bar soap I'm pretty sure like it wouldn't ruin it or make it any harder and now it's still it's like very very lightly stained it's not very uh, dirty anymore, but I'm still going to run it through again just to make sure it's clean and clean out. So a lot of people are saying this is like the easier way to clean out a sponge. It's not like deep clean. Um, so for deep clean, I think a lot of people are still referring to the oil of oil method. Um, for me, I've been using this for a couple times now and I don't see um, any difference on my sponge. It's super clean and every time I use it, like the texture doesn't change or anything. Uh, and sometimes if you use a certain kind of dish soap to make your sponge a little bit harder. Um, for now, my sponge hasn't changed anything and it seems fairly clean and I haven't got any acne using them. So, yeah. Okay, so along we are talking, I have finally cleaned it. So I would say it's very clean. Isn't it? Like it's very clean now. So combining those two methods, um, these two methods, the first is the washing machine one. So it's still kind of dark. If you can tell, it's like very dark in my opinion because you can see the stain it means it's not clean. And here, it's like it's dark. And I'm gonna run through it on my sponge, uh, on my bar soap again. It's very handy to grab on it just to like take it like that and go with the curve. And you just rub it on wherever it's dirty. I think it's very handy in my opinion. Um, you can sort of rub it that way. And make sure you're gentle on your sponge. Because, I mean, they're, if you have used a couple times, you know they're going to be like broken from time to time um, after washing them. And I used to have this kind of tool to use my beauty blender or makeup sponge. And it kind of ruined them a lot. So, yeah. Um... So I'm just gonna running it through, trying to rinse it out, and yeah, I still have a little bit dark in here. Um, I'm gonna run through it again, just to make it a little bit wet, and rub on the sponge, and just squeeze that part out, and it should be good. I really, really personally really like this method. It helps me so much. When I used to use the oil method, it's going to take me, I don't know, about 30 to 40 minutes to clean up all my sponges. Um, personally, I do have a lot of sponge. And um, especially when when I'm like, I don't know, like if, especially when your oil is not controlled very well, where the amount of soap you used 
is not good enough, you can't. Um, it, it tends to be much longer to clean up the towers. But this method is so saves me so much time. My filming so far, including everything setting up and everything, is only been 15 minutes. So I, I have to say this is really fast, in my opinion. Especially the washing part is actually only taking me like currently, I don't know, like five minutes or three minutes, even even less. And this is fairly clean now. Both of them are clean. I'm really happy about it. And the bottom is also very clean. So I have to say personally, I really appreciate whoever used the bar soap kind of technique and also the washing machine technique. I really love this method and combining them two is like this so far the easiest way for me to wash them out. Other than making someone else to wash it for you, but <laughs> but yeah, I really like this method and really really recommend it. 10 out of 10. I like it so much, and I hope you like this video. And please check down below for other people's video to see um, their original uh, ways to wash them out. So yeah, that's the end of this video. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up or you leave a comment below. Or don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.